All right, today we're doing a little something different today. We're gonna we're gonna work on the MG in a little bit. Let's just situate there. You can see what the heck is going on. I think that's all right right there. Um, we're working on the uh, Sonata today. I washed it last night when I got home, and uh, it's nice and cool today. Sixty, oh, sixty five or so in here. So um, I thought I'd give it a wax job before um, winter comes and I haven't waxed it all year. I, I might have done it April or so, maybe even March, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, we're using um, Grotz Best in Show Wax. Um, I usually use colonite. It's an insulator wax. It's uh, made right here in Utica, but I couldn't find some. Couldn't find any at the Advanced Auto, so I picked some of this uh, Griotz up. I don't know if that's how you say it or not, but it's it's out of California. It's uh, made with um, Carnuba wax. Uh, it's a uh, it's a best of show wax. Um, and it really brings out the shine on the car. I'm going to use this on the MG here in a little bit. Uh, but I've got the hood to finish up right now. So uh, let me give you a before shot on this hood. Uh, there it is right there. You can see it's got some shine still on it. Uh, the top here is already done as well as all the all the doors and the trunk lid and uh, it, it shined up pretty good so uh, without further ado let's uh let's get into um, waxing the uh, hood on this thing Um, the stuff goes on kind of, goes on kind of hard, but um, it produces a heck of a luster and a, a heck of a shine. Uh, it, it doesn't go on hard; it comes off hard, uh, unless you're on top of it. You know, you're supposed to wait until it gets the haze, like normal waxes. Um, but when you see a haze and it's kind of dry, it's a little bit tough to get off. Uh, you've got to use some elbow grease, but it produces a heck of a shine. So uh, there's half of it. Um, now why don't I, why don't I just do half of it, get that cleaned off, and then um, I'll show you what it looks like half-wise, getting half of it done, and then uh, and then we'll work on the other half, and uh, I'll compare sides. Basically, is what I'm trying to say in not so many words that I said it in. Uh, we'll just give that a, a minute or so to, to dry up. It's already starting to uh, dry up. I got the windows open here in the, in the garage. And it's pretty great now, a little bit of a breeze. So it's drying it a little quicker than uh, than it did a little earlier. Uh, when I did the, the trunk, I did the whole back end of it. The trunk, the rear fenders, and... Uh, the tail of it, and uh, I did that all in one shot, and um, there was quite a bit of time in between for drying. So um, we're, it's almost it's almost ready here. Another another minute or so. Uh, today we're heading down to um, Oneana. There's a a uh, balloon something or other down there. She wants to go to. But there's also a car show from the like two to five. So I want to go down to that and uh, see if there's any um, MGs down there. Uh, so far, I was checking to see how much time I had. Um, so far, there's any car show that I've been to, there's been no MGs down there, uh, even replicas or any of, of that. There's a couple of Volkswagen that I saw down in Herkimer. But uh, hopefully next year, uh, mine will be in the, in there. So, uh, okay, this this is uh, ready to go here. Oh my 
keep my rag separated. I got one for taking the wax off. I got one for the second finish coat on it. And then uh, the third one. Uh, it's still a little bit wet up there, but let's see if we can get this off here. One thing I never see is uh, watch a lot of musty one videos out of uh, John New Hampshire. And uh, he did a, a bus, a VW bus, red and white here, uh, last year sometime. And uh, he did a really nice finish on it, and it come out nice, but I didn't see him, <laughs> haven't seen him wax anything. Uh, so I don't know, you know, I mean, he, I'm sure he, he, he's got a lot of other stuff going on and he takes care of stuff, but, um, well, I got a water stain right there that we can get out. Yeah. All right, that came out. All right. Uh, we'll go to the second one. boring watching it. But if I can give you some tips on what what happens and great. You come away with video saying, well that was stupid. Well it was stupid. Not it. Wasted a couple minutes of your time. But I like doing this. I like getting these nice and shiny and Sure, somebody will take a door to the side of my car today when it's down in Moniana. But, you know, what happens, I guess. Who are you talking to? I'm talking to the camera. You want to get on camera? Huh? <laughs> Do you want to get on camera? Yeah, I know what you're thinking. There must be an easier way to do this. Well, there it is. I think for somebody to have them do it. Sometimes you don't get the result that you want on it either. Taking it somebody. It's hard to work with. I also use uh, mother's um, wax with or uh, car wash with wax in it. Drop my applicate on the floor twice. Hopefully, they didn't pick up any little stones. So, all right, that takes care of that. Let me see if you can see the difference on here. Um, this side was done over here, this side was not. I don't think you can see the difference, actually. There's a little more shine on this side, a little more depth in the color, but um, that's, I guess you can't tell the difference. Well, maybe, yeah, from this side you can. There's places that you can tell the difference. It's a little more uh, shiny there where the light bulbs come down on it than it is on this side. This side looks more like, a, I don't know, it, it's not clear, is what I'm trying to say. So, uh, the rest of the car is done. Um, 
I'm going to do, probably do the, uh, sorry, I'll probably do the MG, maybe uh, the sides here and a little bit on the back probably. I'll get this all blown off over here, all this fiberglass where I drilled holes in for the dash and stuff. Um, my uh, speedometer did come. That's over to uh, my buddies along with all of the other gauges um, getting ready to have the dash finished. And then um, I can bring it home and install it and then I could do all the switch wiring and, and things like that. And uh, then uh, what we got left is uh, putting the pan in down there and the Napoleon's hat, both pans. So uh, for uh, my 52 MG replica update, I guess it's going to be number 15. No, nah, maybe 16. I don't know. 15, I think it is. Uh, that's it for today. Um, I'll give you an after shot next time that... When I finish waxing this, I'll, I'll give you an after shot of it. All right, thanks for watching. Comment and like me. If you don't like me, can't help it. Thanks.